Hello everyone, my name is Calvin Williams. Today I want to tell you a story about lending money to others and its effect. The title of my story is called The Farmer, The Ox and the Anki Excerpted from the Richest Man in Babylon. Roden had recently received a gift of 50 gold pieces from his generous king for designing a new spearhead for the royal guard. Upon receiving the king's gift of 50 gold pieces, Roden was approached by his sister concerning the money, if he can loan it to her to give it to her husband to start a merchant business. His in-law later approached him to request for the money that the king gave it to him to loan to him to start a merchant business. Roden was confused about the request and didn't know whether to loan such a significant sum of money to his sister and her husband. So Roden went to Mathon, the lender of gold, and asked Mathon if he might share the wisdom he had garnered via years of money lending. Listen to the advice Mathon, the money lender, gave to Roden. Having money bears a significant responsibility and fear of losing it all. It also suddenly causes the people in your life to devise opportunities and then try to leverage your relationship to earn for themselves. Gold brings unto its possessor responsibility and a changed position with his fellow men. It brings a fear lest he lose it or it is be tricked away from him. It brings the feeling of power and ability to do good. Likewise, it brings up opportunities whereby his very good intentions may bring him into difficulties. Mathon illustrates this idea with the story of the farmer who could understand the language of animals. This farmer, who could understand what the animals said to each other, did linger in the farmyard each evening just to listen to their words. One evening he did hear the ox bemoaning to the ass the hardness of his lot. I do labor pulling the plow from morning until night. No matter how hot the day, or how tired my legs, or how the bow doth chafe my neck, still must I work. But you are a creature of leisure. You are trapped with a colorful blanket and do nothing more than carry our master about where he wishes to go. When he goes nowhere you do rest and eat the green grass all the day. Now the ass, in spite of his vicious heels, was a goodly fellow and sympathized with the ox. My good friend, he replied, you do work very hard and I would help ease your lot. Therefore, will I tell you how you may have a day of rest. In the morning when the slave comes to fetch you to the plow, lie upon the ground and bellow much that he may say you are sick and cannot work. So the ox took the advice of the ass and the next morning the slave returned to the farmer and told him the ox was sick and could not pull the plow. Then, said the farmer, hitch the ass to the plow for the plowing must go on. All that day the ass, who had only intended to help his friend, found himself compelled to do the ox's task. When night came and he was released from the plow his heart was bitter and his legs were weary and his neck was sore where the boom had chafed it. The ox began first. You are a good friend. Because of your wise advice, I have enjoyed a day of rest. And I, retorted the ass, am like many another simply hearted one who starts to help a friend and ends up by doing his task for him. Hereafter you draw your own plow. For I did hear the master tell the slave to send for the butcher were you sick again. I wish he would, for you are a lazy fellow. Thereafter they spoke to each other no more, this ended their friendship. The ass, donkey, was good friends with the ox and wished only to help his friend enjoy a day off. The donkey's intention was only to help his friend, not to hurt himself. In so helping the ox, the donkey sentenced himself to take over the responsibilities and burdens of the ox. Thus, the moral of this story is, if you desire to help thy friend, do so in a way that will not bring thy friend's burdens upon thyself. Please if you like this audio, you can subscribe to my channel, titled, Smartphone Benefits.